uh, everything I'm showing you is what I got today. Um, I spent 362 on all the things that you see. I'm going to bust this up into a few different videos. It's just too much stuff for me to go through straight away. And I'll start with the games and what I bought at the Meadowlands this morning. Um, I imagine the most exciting uh, find at the Meadowlands for me and other people today would be this Nintendo Action Set. It's complete. It's in the box. I'm not going to take it out. I don't have the time. Um, there was a little bit of uh, excitement around this. Um, a friend of mine called me, and he uh, he didn't know if he should buy this for $25 at a yard sale. Uh, it came with these three games, and it looks like this game it belongs in the box there. Um, these are the three games it came with. Uh, a baseball, not a, not a valuable. Uh, Jeopardy, not a very valuable, and uh, three sleeves, which are probably worth about a buck a piece. Anyway, um, while I was at the flea market, uh, one of the other vendors, uh, the per okay, I wasn't even there. I went to go pick it up uh, from my friend, who I told him to buy it for $25, right? So anyway, um, he had it where people could see it, so one guy runs, I'll give you $100 for it, but this is a guy that says stuff like that, but then what he does is he comes back later, uh, he goes, but uh, let me look over here. Uh, just hold it for me. I'll give you a hundred if I want it, right? And then he'll come back and he'll go, oh, it's uh, this is beat up. How, did you test it? I don't know if it works. So he'll knock the price down. Then someone actually, while I was there, was also interested. And he at first I said seventy five because what happened is I told my friend, look, I, I wanted to pay fifty uh, for it because I don't care about keeping the box. I'm going to sell it. Uh, it's not going to my display or anything like that. So this is for me to make money, right? So I saw, so while I was there, I said to, to the guy, 75, right? Uh, and he could take it. Um, but my friend was like, no, no, the other guy offered me 100. I'm like, okay, well, then go get him and get the 100. And he was like, oh, it's, and he was telling me, oh, I'll give you money out of it and, and stuff. But I was like, I don't even care, right? Uh, if my friend can make more money, uh, then I'm going to give him. Why, why am I going to stop my friend from doing that? Anyway, um, the first guy was like running around. He couldn't get him to come over and look again. The guy that was like, I'll give you a hundred, right? He, he wasn't coming back because he's looking at other stuff, right? Then the second guy that offered, uh, he pushed his thing to 80, but then he split and he was probably doing the same thing. He's like, oh, I'm not going to hang out if this guy's like stringing me along or whatever. So uh, what happened was I just went shopping um, and I'll show you the other stuff I got. Uh, and when I came back, I said, well, did you sell it? He goes, no, nobody came back. And, and I was like, well, look, try and sell it. And, uh, you know, uh, when I see, I see it. You know, he says, no, no, no. If you just give me 50 bucks right now, uh, you got it. Done deal. I bought it for you. You told me to buy it. So I said, 50 bucks, you got it. Boom. And here it is. It's mine. Anyway, uh, here's the other stuff I got. I actually got these. See these buckets? I got these buckets. They were two bucks a piece at the Midlands. I need these. You know, if I had to buy them in the store, they're like anywhere from five to eight dollars. So I got four buckets, those gray ones, for two bucks a piece. Uh, nice sturdy buckets with lids. All right, um, that's the uh, one of the other things. Uh, at an, another uh, vendor, they had a GameCube. How much of the GameCube? It's missing everything. But generally, these work. Five bucks. I'll take a chance at five bucks for a loose GameCube. Um, and then I said, hey, you got any other game stuff? And they said, oh, yeah, I got these games over here. Now, these are Atari games. People don't generally like Atari. Um, the 2600, there's not a lot of uh, resale value in them. So, but I never see the 5200, so they were like two bucks a piece on the games. So they had an Atari 5200, which looks actually pretty damn clean, uh, with a, a beat to hell box. So I don't know if that'll add much value. Then a super breakout, pretty damn clean. Oh, it's got some kind of, it's got the pad things in the back. See, I guess this one doesn't, unless it's in the box. It either is or is. I don't really care to be honest. You know, but there's the pads for that. Uh, here's a Qbert. Uh, again, pretty damn complete. And this box is in much better shape. Uh, unfortunately, the label on this looks a little beat up, um, but it looks kind of complete. And I, to be honest, I have no idea on value on these. Um, I never see them. I never find them. They may have very little value. You know, uh, I'm sure they're worth more than two bucks a piece. Um, and uh, I'm imagining the only place these will sell will be online. Don't know. And then a, a missile command. It's in there. Whatever. Beat up box. Uh, there's the cartridge. And also a Sonic Spinball. Uh, kind of beat up. But it does have the case. No instructions. So that, that was $15 there. Um, I'll just show what else I got at the Meadowlands. And then I'll just jump to the games um, that I got today. Okay. Uh, at another vendor... They said five bucks a piece on the perfumes. I got twelve. They gave it to me for fifty, and I also bought the buckets from them. It came to fifty-eight. Uh, I said here, just take sixty. I was being generous. Um, 
Silver Fox, not familiar. Uh, a big bottle of Nautica, Sar, Van Cleef, feels kind of full. Uh, Sun, Home, that means for him, Sung, from Alfred Sung, pretty damn full. Uh, hoop, this is an expensive stuff, but for five bucks, if I can sell it for like 20, another hoop or jupe, I don't know how you pronounce it. Lacoste, for poor home, that means for him. Uh, this is full under here. This is a contradiction for men. I think it's Calvin Klein. I'll get rid of this stupid lid. It's like beat to crap. The plastic label on the bottom's gone. Uh, I don't know why I'm wasting so much time with this. Here, there it is. Looks pretty damn full. Or whatever. Alright, uh, I got this, this thing here. Uh, Rayon Tradition Insurrection. Um, Perialis America, Bulgari, Bulgari Man, and another Nordic. Okay, so that's a perfume. All right, so that's pretty much, I, I think that's everything I got at the Meadowlands today. I don't think there's anything else. All right, uh, now I'll just finish with the rest of the games, and then I'm, I'm going to stop and do, and then piece these videos together into one big video. All right, rest of the games. Um, okay. At a yard sale, I paid 7 apiece for this Mario Kart Wii and a Mario Party 8. Uh, 7 7 I paid 14 for the two. Uh, $2 a piece, Epic Mickey. No, you know what? Uh, yeah, yeah. $2 a piece, Epic Mi Mickey Wii Resort. St uh, and then I think I paid $3 a piece for the Star Wars 3 Lego and Namco Museum Remix. Three or two? I don't even remember. These are empty cases. Uh, at another sale... Okay, you know what? I paid, I paid three apiece for these. I paid two, two for these except for the Marios. Okay, uh, and these are empty, so I, I paid a dollar for the two cases. Cases come in handy. Um, Princess Enchanted Journey and a Star Wars three. Okay, uh, and this whole bag was like eight bucks, and I pulled out a couple of DVDs or something for them, but they were like a quarter apiece. So I got a Mario Kart. Uh, steering wheel, which I'll pair with the game to sell it. Then I got a, a Rock Candy Wii controller with the... Uh, I forget what you call this thing. Um, but I got one of those that attaches on the bottom. I got two nunchucks. Oh, I'm sorry, three nunchucks. One, two, three. I got another Wii controller. And I got this, this thing that goes on the bottom. You need it for certain games. I can't remember what it's called. Boy, that's loose. That's weird. Is that supposed to do that? <laughs> no. And uh, an AV and some uh, sleeves. I, I forget what they call it. That's it on the games. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to another video and show the rest of the stuff I got today. Uh, video two. Um, let me just show these quick. This this is Lego stuff. Uh, this looks to be Batman. And this is. Uh, Some kind of spaceship. Uh, my friend's getting this. He knows who he is. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm also going to give him the Atari games. Uh, so now you know. All right. Um, DVDs. Benji. Ice Age. Brother Bear. That's sealed. I'm going to check that. Um, up. Wreck-It Ralph. I might save that. Uh, Finding Nemo. Coraline. Spy Kids 1 and 2. Bugs Life. Uh, Scooby-Doo meets Batman. Ratatouille. Cars 2, The Incredibles, Toy Story 3, Where the Wild Things Are, and Charlie and Chocolate Factory, 2 DVD set, Shrek, Shrek the Third, Fast Times Ridgemont High, uh, Monsters vs. Aliens, Ben 10, uh, Season 1, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Cars, Groundhog Day, everybody should see that movie, All Dogs Go to Heaven, uh, Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch Has a Glitch, Princess Stories, Volume 1, Shrek 2, and uh, Jay and Santa Pop Strike back. And now I'll do the DVDs. Uh, I'm sorry, CDs. Uh, Carpenters. I'm going to make these all five and sell them $4, two for seven, three days. Eagles Greatest Hits, Elvis, Danny Ross's Supremes, uh, 25th Anniversary, volume, volume 2. Louis Armstrong, Frank Sinatra, Greatest Hits, Billy Ocean Love Song, uh, Love Zone, Nirvana, Boston, Billy Joel, River Dream Secure. This is like uh, the singles. Jimi Hendrix, Miles Dang Davis, Kind of Blue, Nirvana, 
Nirvana uh, from the muddy banks of whatever, and this is incesticide. Another Frank Sinatra, Louis Armstrong, The Hot Five, whatever, Bob Dylan, Time Out of Mind, Neil Young, Lucky th 13. I have allergies, sorry about that. Billy Joel Stormfront, Nirvana Unplugged, and Phantom of the Opera. All right, um, I also got a Pokemon tin, two Pokemon tins. Uh, they were empty. The kid wanted like $2 a bundle on cards. I was not having it. Uh, miscellaneous clothes, uh, this. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I got this. I don't know, I'm going to do one, uh, maybe one more video after this where I'm going to show all these sports cards and... Uh, non-sports cards I got today for like 35 bucks. Mickey's Gumball Machine, Coin Bank. Uh, I don't know, this isn't really old. But it's, it's like new, although it's not new. Um, I don't know, I, I'm thinking this is like 80s or 90s. Walt Disney Productions. Let me just see if I can find a day. Not. This was only $3. Uh, no date. So, whatever. Okay. No date. Uh, I still got to do jewelry. Um, all right. I bought these ten a piece. These are actual paintings. Um, this is Chinese, I believe, stuff. Uh, there's a butterfly. These are done on silk uh, with flowers. Uh, yeah, the, the light's not too strong here. You really can't tell, but these are absolutely paintings. And this one has a really nice dragonfly. There's the chop, a uh, uh, writing signature, whatever it is. Uh, well done, nicely done. 20 bucks for two is a good deal. This is a dollar. This is just a board I can use to for drawing stuff on. All right, let's see. I'm going to, you know what, I'll do the jewel. This I bought for, t I thought it said $10. So I got to go back and give the, I went to bought this for $20. I thought it was $10. Although it is nice and old. So I have to decide what to do with this, but I'm going to go back when I see the person and tell them, look, I bought this thing from you. I thought it was only $10. I only gave you $10. It was $20. Um, I know the person. I didn't, they won't know that, uh, or they'll probably know that I did it because I did it, but they won't know that I know that I did it from the video because they don't see the videos. But I'll, I'll make it up to them. Okay. And I'll give them the 20. I don't remember. I think she paid five for this. This is this these are gold. So these were these were a good deal. She probably paid like eight dollars for everything or something like that. Um, these are like uh, abalone and they're carved birds. Very nice. These are uh, gold, so hopefully they're 50 or 60 bucks. There's a smoking thing and there's some BS earrings in there. Uh, this was three dollars, and we think these are amber. This was also $3, and these should be amber. Um, let's see. These are museum pins. I think she paid five a piece or, or three a piece for these. I don't remember. Uh, so it's the um, Museum of Modern, uh, the Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art. There's another one. They reproduce antique and ancient jewelry, and uh, they sell it. Okay, almost. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a bone pin. I think she paid a buck fifty for this. And this is a. Uh, you see these around. Normally they have broken pieces. This one's not broken, so uh, I'm gonna try and keep it that way. They're they're English. Um, she must have just liked this one, or maybe it's a designer. Whatever. Uh, I should have done a little more prep on this. Okay, this is has Debera on it. It's just kind of a funky brass pin. These are earrings that I believe might be signed. If not, they're just cool. All right, let's just find out real quick. I don't want to take too long on this. The last video I'm going to do is just a bunch of cards I got for... Okay, I don't see a signature, so whatever. All right, let's see. Uh, I think she paid like 2 or $3 for this stick pin. I think she paid 2 or $3 for this. This could be silver. don't know for sure. Um... This does not look that old, but this is like a Scottish kilt pin, and it's just pretty damn nice. Uh, she probably paid three or two dollars. Same with this, two or three dollars, and this is just a very thin uh, brass pin. This is a museum pin. She probably paid three dollars. Don't know. Um, silver rings. I think she paid five dollars. No. Here's another silver ring. Okay, uh, silver butterfly. She probably paid five for this. I don't know what you pay for these. Uh, these are just uh, Marcusite earrings. All right. 
this is just a, a fishing stick pin, but it's really kind of cool. It's got a reel, and you can, it even has a thin line. I don't know if you can see it. Another silver pin. Don't remember what she paid for it. This is probably gold filled, or uh, this I think is Bo Sterling. So she, I think she paid five for that. This is Sterling. I don't know what she paid for it. Probably five. Uh, these are just earrings. I don't know what she paid for them. This is just a cool necklace. There you go. I think she paid less than five for that. Uh, silver, I think. And uh, then this is, I think, a silver chain. A nice silver. And then let me just uh, get the rest of this stuff out of here. Okay, this I know she paid like a dollar for. And this is kind of a cool, funky copper and crystal bracelet. And then there's like two broken earrings, but a really nice rhinestone pin. Okay, that's it on the jewelry. I want to do one more video, and then I'll show the rest of the stuff I got today. Okay, uh, this is it. This is the rest of what I got today. Uh, basically, a big pile of sports and non-sports cards. I'm going to show them. I paid uh, 35 for all of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to um, arrange them. Well, I'm going to get a rough idea what these sell for. Like, I'll scan them, and I got a feeling that I'm going to sell them for like a couple of bucks each, unless they have great value. See? Um, so basically, $35. The lady was like, um, five for a dollar. See, here's some Star Wars ones. Um, oh, and then I got other. What attracted me to them was. Uh, was these. There were some Ninja Turtle uh, ones here. You see it says like five for a dollar. I'm not going to sell them for that. Uh, but there's other stuff too. Like, I don't know, Series 3, Space Shots. I don't know what that is. But see, there's like a whole bunch. So I was picking out the turtles. And I'm like, you know, uh, how much would you take for all of these? And the lady says, uh, $35, like I said. So here, I, I'm, I'm kind of going to try and quick sort them. See, here's some Disney ones. Uh, here's some more st Star Trek. Here's some Star Trek. And the next generation, Disney. There's some Fleers. There's other stuff here, too. Like, see, this goes here. Uh, baseball tops. Metal universe. I don't know what that is. Tops. Uh, this goes here, it looks like. Uh, this goes here and fortunately for me is they have scans so I can just take my phone uh, when I get in the house and uh, here's like Star Wars again Star Wars and just uh, scan some of them and get a rough idea of what they sell right now I have scanned a few of them and uh, they mostly seemed in the Five or, you know, uh, even if they scan it like a, a penny or something, right? Um, that's fine because that still means that they're going to be worth about four bucks. Uh, yeah, see, there's a whole bunch of these. I, I don't even know what these are. Uh, space shots. I've never heard of them. Um, me trying to stack this stuff. Uh, here's some more of these. So this is what I'm going to do when I get inside. Just scan this stuff. Uh, that goes there. Uh, and then what, what? the first thing I saw was these. These are like non-sports uh, superhero cards. I was going to take those out. Uh, but then here, here's the Monopoly. Bubblegum. Uh, I don't know what this is. Here's some of these. 1993 for sports. See, there's a bunch of these. So if I scan like one of them, I can get a rough idea of what they're worth. And I'm going to put them in those two trays over there. And like I said, if I, uh, I think if I can, I'll start off at $2, 3 for 5 on these. Uh, and um, look at these. Uh, beanie cards. Got like a whole bunch of these Series 1 beanie cards. So uh, even if I sell these for a buck a piece, as you can see, there are a ton of them here. And I mean, they may take me a, a, a long time to sell. Here's the Monopoly again. Monopoly. 
uh, NFL Pro Set. They got a bunch of these. Uh, oh, Elvis cards. Elvis. Who's this? I don't know what that is. More Star Trek. More of these Pro Set. Oh, what's this one? Tops. Goes there. Uh, see, I'm working my way through, and, and uh, I'm kind of sorting them quick. The lady just, she was like, I'm not giving up my tubs, right? I'm like, okay, so here's some more of the Fleer 91. Uh, here, stack of those up. So she basically dumped them uh, into the freaking bags, like no order. Here's some more of these here. So, you know, it just makes my, oh, Beavis and Butthead cards. There were some of those. Uh, upper deck, this football. Uh, hockey. Here's some more tops. All right. More Monopoly. Uh, football. This goes here. Uh, more of these beanie cards. Beanie Babies. I don't know if anybody remembers that stuff. Here's just some loose cards. Uh, Marvel stuff. Where, where is that? Okay, like a new stack. And then here's some basketball. See a whole stack of those. Oops. Oh, hold on. Okay, this looks like hockey. Ugh. Okay, that's chocolate. Look at that. Wanna see something gross? Okay, should I eat it? <laughs> no. These I probably can't sell. It's probably charge me for them too. Alright. I wonder how that works. One Nestle Crunch card, four bars. I'll have to see about that. Here's some more Baseball Series 2. Uh, this, this, Baseball Pro Set. Uh, could have sworn I saw those somewhere. Right there. What are these? Uh, more of these. Upper deck, don't know. Here's some more. There's these football. Pro set. Here's some more of these Fleer. Some over here. Oh, there they go. Fleer. This is football. Alright, uh, tops. So you got tops. Alright, um, limited edition football, football, football. Uh, here's some cards that they stuck in. Into sleeves. Uh, Barry Sanders. I don't know why these guys. Barry. Well, this guy liked Barry, Barry Sanders and a Michael Jordan. And uh, Andre Reason. Okay, let's see. Here's more football. I don't know. I'll, I'll need that up. Here's some free 92-93 Fleer NBA. NBA cards. Uh, hockey. Let's see. Football. This goes here. What's this? Football, football. Now, I mostly bought these like for the the non-football ones. But again, it doesn't matter. I'll just stick them out there. Metal. Oh, I saw this somewhere. And then there was stuff like 94, the record New York Yankees uh, schedule. Uh, here's a football, the viewing guide. Uh, I think I, I didn't show this. Oh, yeah, this is Star Trek stuff. What's this? Uh, more Elvis cards, or did I show these? Okay, I think I showed these already. Um, 95 Collector Series checklist. These look like postcards. Hmm. Kirby Puckett. Wade Boggs, one of 16. I'll see if all 16 are there. Here's some 94 giant schedules. Um, 19. This is some kind of transfer for the. Uh, okay, I'm not really good at reading backwards, so this is. 1993 season. We support. I don't know. Okay, I, I failed at reading backwards. I, if I were dys dyslexic, maybe. I'd be better at that. Okay, more Met schedule. I think I already showed these. Uh, there's this. What's this? More Monopoly stuff. I had that over there somewhere. Uh, this is more more schedules. Uh, bah, 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 bah. 
this. So anyway, you could see, for $35, I think this was a pretty damn good deal. More Star Wars. So, I don't know. There you go. I don't know if you counted, but it's got to be like maybe a couple hundred pieces. So, I'm, anyway, it gives me a chance to learn. I've never had this stuff before.